so I have two sewing makes to share with you in this video the first one is a skirt it is a quick sew pattern that I'll place somewhere on the screen it is quick sew 1053 and this I think is a vintage pattern although I looked all over the envelope and inside of the pattern and the directions and I could not find any copyright as far as the year that it was made but I think it's vintage not sure but I will go ahead and share with you some footage of what I've been doing with this skirt I want to show you all this skirt that I'm working on so far I think so good it has a little coin pocket I use denim scraps for the pocket lining this is the zipper the fly front zipper it is a corduroy fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics I did top stitching along the front and everywhere that it required except in the back I didn't do it all the way up here at the top because I want to see if the waistband is going to fit or if I'm going to have to make an adjustment and I realized after I put these pockets on that this one is higher than this one and yeah that's about it there's top stitching going down the side and oh it has vents so in this pattern you have the option of putting a vent in the front, the back, or the front and the back. And I thought that it would be different and unique to actually put the vent in the front and the back. I thought that that was different so I wanted to give that a try. So this is the front vent. So next I will go and work on the waistband. Okay, so I actually have finished the skirt. If I ever make this skirt again, I don't think that I will put the split in the front, the vent. I think I will just have it in the back. But I'm glad that I did both because it's different and I got a chance to see what that would look like. But I think I would like it better if it didn't have the vent in the front. The only change that I made is that I left off the carriers. I just didn't think that I would ever wear this with a belt. So I didn't put carriers on. I did put a metal front closure button type of thing. I, I used a silver one that you actually have to like hammer down, you know, hit it down and get it into the opening. You make a hole with an owl and then you just put the button closure in there and then you kind of clamp it down. So I did do that. And as far as that back pocket on the right hand side, I did not bother lowering it. So yes, the pocket is still where it was in the clip. I was just not interested in undoing all the top stitching. So that's our little secret. <laughs> Okay, so my next sewing make is actually this bodysuit. I shared this fabric in my last video, which is fabric that I purchased from Cali Fabrics, and I only purchased a yard of fabric. The bodysuit that I made is McCall 7983. I made view A, but I used the sleeves from the view B and D. B and D have long sleeves, but view A has the short neckline so that's what I decided to do on this one is just use the shorter neckline so the fabric was really nice to work with the selvage edge had a bunch of blank white area with a little bit of writing in there which was the name of the beach wear company was written on the side in the selvage area and I decided to move my pattern over into that area area just so that I could take advantage of some of that space that you know fabric over there that was kind of blank it didn't have any stripes on it and so I ended up with this on the side but I like it so I kind of wished I had done the same thing on the other side I didn't but yeah I did do it on this side so you have the little wording and then some of the white so I thought that that was different but this is the bodysuit and I like it. 
I have made so many bodysuits this year. I actually went through and counted them before I turned the camera on and I actually have made eight bodysuits and I think I made most of them this year. If I see a bodysuit pattern, I'm like, yes, most of the time I just grab it. Those are my two sewing mix for this video. And before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. Something that I learned recently, <laughs> I always say that, that just blew my mind is that bacon, you can get bacon in a can. So it's already pre-cooked. I saw it on Amazon. So the one that I saw on Amazon, I don't know if they're all this way, but the one that I saw on Amazon, it's pre-cooked. They rolled it up in what looks like some type of parchment paper and then they put it in the can. And then when you want to eat it, you unroll it and you have all of these strips of bacon that are already pre-cooked and there are a lot of pieces of bacon in the can and from what i was reading online the canned bacon has a very long shelf life yes yeah, so i thought that was so interesting canned bacon who would have ever thought